Avionics, uh, Connect uh, 2, L switches forward except your NAS. That's what I'm okay. finding. There you go. All right. Okay, fuel pump one. Good. Fuel pump two. Good. Mission one. Good. Mission two. Good. Medic one. All right. Medic two. Gold. All right, we're at 72.6. Alrighty. 22.7. Above a quarter tank indicated. Timer is gone. You get the, do you need the hobs? Nope, I got it. 342.4. Okay. Right. Last flight officially was a point nine. We'll log as an hour for you. Towards your requirements. Awesome. 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 Alright, we'll probably get a point five, maybe a six at the best. What, is it 850? Eight, yeah, well, the airport is 850. Okay. 850. So, I guess it really depends on where you are on the airport, because it's... That's it, it is slow. Well, use the highest elevation on the airport. It's on the water. Does this one work? This timer? I don't know. Nice. But we got in a Blackhawk, actually. <laughs> that's a Does that's it? an expensive timer. Does it work? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, then it's not an expensive timer. <laughs> a broken expensive timer. A broken expensive It's actually a certified one. It's a certified doorstop now. That's it. Yeah, because that's what my fuel gauge is there. Yeah. Okay, all right. Everybody's that's machine's good. different. I like it. Looking good. Oh, God, yes. That's so much better. I'm going to be over-revving the hell out of this thing. <laughs> all right, so what are we doing? What am I, what am I going to do? You know, 100%, you're going to pick her up and yeah. set her down here on the pad a few times, and then all we're right. going to do some uh, hover taxi work. Okay. All right, so I'm going to check the clutch first. Yep. So, spark clutch check. All right. I didn't hear the belt squealing either. That was good. Okay. Temperatures, pressures, rotor RPM 100%. Clear right, center, and left. Clear, clear, clear. All right. Pick her up. Get her stable, and then set her back down. And we'll pick her up, do 180, we'll do that a couple times. Alright, so we're on a slant, right? Yeah, but it's not okay. much, so more centered versus a lot of right cyclic. Alright, right, bring that down a little bit. Still got a ways to go because you can just tell by manifold pressure. Once we get about 25, 26, we'll get light. Well, we're lighter, so maybe 24, she'll get light. Yeah, 23. She got light at 23. We just have no gas in here, that's why. And a little bit more throttle, start getting ahead of it. Just bring it towards the top of the green arc while you're here already, you know? Yeah, it feels a lot smoother now. Yeah. Now you can do that nitnoid fine tune. Notice how we're going forward a little bit. I notice the nose is pitching down. It's so a little ass like, like right there. That's good. And yeah, keep coming up. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Pull, pull, pull. And throttle. <laughs> oh, shit. We, don't, we weren't going to take off, were we? <laughs> I don't know where you were going. I was, I was, I was, back. Yeah, I was taking the hell off is what I was doing. That was like a what we call in the Army a shitter takeoff. Like you're yeah. going full bore. A little bit lower, get lower, 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 lower. Come on down, come on down, get it back. Hold it a little lower, you might have to touch that right skid. Oh, there it went. 
There it goes. Alright, give me a 180 degree turn to the right. You're too high. Get your rotor RPM back before you turn. Keep coming, just keep coming. Down, 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 down. I'm pushing you down. There you go. Now start your right pedal turn. Altitude is good. Yeah, you just jerked it on up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Alright, get yourself lined up, then set her down. Got a little bit of wind coming between the trees, so. As you get lower to the ground, you're going to have to start rolling the throttle off. There you go. There's the right, there's the left. A little bit of a descending left slope. Okay, good. You did it all. You managed it. It wasn't pretty, though. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pick her back up. Center your controls first and lower your collector a little bit more. Start centered and then 100%. Pressures, temperatures, make sure you're clear, clear, clear. And start picking her up nice and easy. This time, let's not jump forward. Yeah, let's try not to let's do that. Let's just do a vertical takeoff. Rolling on our throttle as we lift up on the collective. Hold on a second. Yep. My fat ass is on my collective. Okay. All right. That's it. That's where I like to see the rotor RPM get towards the top of the green arc. She's getting light at 23 inches since we're so late. 24, 25, she's going to start coming off. She's going to slide to the left. There you go. You keep climbing up too much. There you go. Get it back down. Good. Now you notice you don't need all that throttle now. Yeah. Keep rolling the throttle down. Rolling the throttle down. Listen to what the rotor's telling you. You're, you're getting too fast on the rotor still. Touch down on the right. Bring it back up. Let's not touch down. Let's do about one foot hover. That's six inches. Come up just a little bit. A little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Right there. That's where I want you to hold. That's one foot to six inches there. Okay. Stabilize. Little throttle. Increase throttle. Increase throttle. Increase throttle. And notice how you had to reduce the collective a little bit. Because watch this. Uh, I, I'm with you on the throttle. You're still flying. All right. We're going to increase the throttle yeah. without touching the collective. Notice how she starts climbing. Yeah. Now I'm going to de decrease the rotor RPM and watch how she starts coming down. Maintain her uh, over the pad. See that? So you're, you're increasing lift by increasing the speed of the rotor system. So if you keep your rotor RPM consistent right here about... 102, 104%, then you're going to have uh, uh, less oscillations of the vertical path, or a vertical plane. So you notice as you reduce the collective, you have to roll the throttle off, because otherwise you start speeding your rotor up and it's producing even more lift. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Touch down with aft drift. Got to tighten it up. Oh, I wasn't trying to land. Yeah, go ahead. Just, yeah, go ahead and land. I was just <laughs> bouncing. Yeah. A little bit of right pedal to parallel your skids with the landing area. There's that. There's the left. And you can just lower that collective, too. That'll keep you from sliding as well. All right, uh -huh. roll your throttle back on. Okay, start increasing collective. Increase the collective. Okay, stop. Two stage. Roll your throttle on to the, about 102, 104. That's 102 right there. Good. Alrighty. Continue to raise the collective. You don't need that much cyclic. That's good. As she lifts off, there you go. Center your collect, uh, cyclic. Okay. Stabilize your hover. Alright, let's do, uh, let's try to hold it here and do a 360 degree pedal turn. Left or right? To the right. That's good, you got plenty of rotor RPM and energy. Be 
Keep coming, keep coming. A little bit of wind. So you're pointing uh, pretty much runway 32 direction parallel with it. There you go, in line with the gravel. Okay, let's do it to the left now. We do these really slow, we take our time, take our time. Watch your drift, you're, you're drifting all over the place right now. You want to keep it, you're going to, there you go, correcting. Keep coming. Slow it down with right pedal. There you go. Excellent. Good. Hold what you got. Stabilize. Okay. Point us towards the runway. Right pedal turn. Or do some hover taxiing down to the end of 3-2 there. Okay. You can make your call. Clear on the right. Clear on the left. Uh, Lake Norman traffic. Helicopter 51691. Back taxi on runway 132. Lake Norman. Runway is clear, just keep going through to the center of the runway to make sure your tail is clear of all taxi lights. Keep going, keep going forward, and you're clear to the right. Be very cognizant of that, those taxi lights, you'll hit them. Yeah. Alright, that's about three inches, two inches, so we're going to get, get ready to touch down there. Increase throttle. Increase throttle. There you go. Notice how the uh, the pedal authority came back there. Good. This is good taxi speed. And then you're going to start getting wind through here from the right, and that's going to increase the efficiency. So you might balloon up. So you have to lower the collective and reduce throttle slightly if that happens. Alright, I want to keep uh, keep this attitude just like this, and I just want you to creep it down on the runway and touch the skids with this forward speed. A little bit more, okay, right there, hold that attitude, let it touch down, let it touch down. There it goes, that's a running landing, good, you picked it back up, good. Let's try it one more time, maintain your parallel skids to the runway. Good, pick it back up, good, okay. And then manage your rotor RPM there as required. Get up. You're a little low. Right there. A little higher, a little higher. Oh, I thought we were doing that again. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. And take us to the run-up area there, and then point the nose to uh, to the northwest. Do you do a left or right turn? Your choice. Just get us over there. Probably left turn is preferable, but up to you. Okay, we got one coming in. Beautiful. Just point us down the runway, parallel to it. Good. Now pick her up a little bit higher. I want you to come to about three feet, four feet. Good. Come forward into the grass. RPM's maintaining very well. We're going to go back in that grassy area there. And find yourself a nice flat spot here, and then just set her down nice and easy. Aha! 
Gotcha. Good. Do you notice how I had to help you with that left pedal? I stomped it a little bit. That's a rapid engine failure there. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to have a rapid uh, yaw to like that. To the right, and you got to hit yeah. left pedal, yeah. Yeah, so I had to do that. I stomped that left pedal. I wanted you to see that just All in right. case it happened to you, okay? Good job. But you maintained everything else. I just stomped the rudder for you. Okay. We can do that one more time. This is a good area. It's nice and soft here and it's flat. All right. This time I'll count down so you just know. Okay, so 100% temperatures, pressures. Clear, clear, clear. All right. Pick her up. Stable one foot hover. And I will count down this time. Very good, slow and methodical. Excellent. I'll let you get stable first. I want you pointing nice and level here, parallel. Okay, come back to earth. There you go. Get your uh, RPM uh, about 102. Job. Notice you just hold the collective where it's at, right? Yeah. Maybe a little up. Okay. Okay, good. That's what it's going to be like. You're going to lose the engine just like that. I mean, you just got to know left. Just yep. All the way? Uh, whatever it takes, I pretty much almost hit the stop. Yeah. So center them up. There you go. All right. Uh, roll it back up. We can do it one more time. Okay, let this guy come in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, a bunch of birds down there too. Playing up traffic. Yeah. Oh, I told you about the. Yeah, I told you about the Canadian. Yeah, they yeah, went right through them. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, he said. He said two of them went this way, and one of them went this way, and he said the other one just froze and. <laughs> yep. No bueno. Yep. Bill Bonanza. Bonanza, yeah. I used to call those the doctor killers. Yeah. <laughs> I think he lives here, so I mean, yeah. Cool. Take normal Bonanza, 7943 Delta is clear of the runway. Alrighty, let's do it again. Uh, Helicopter, hold for short of 3 2 at Lake Norman, you guys depart. Uh, no, we're just uh, doing some work over here. We're, we'll stay off the runway. All right, you got us off the sky wagon behind you. We're going to depart runway 32 straight out. All right, thanks. Okay. You can start bringing it up to 100%, and we'll be ready once he passes us. Okay, so uh, any of these emergency procedures, these just want to be very clear that you only do these with a, a CFI on board, myself or any other CFI. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's your discretion. If you want to try to do them with John, I prefer you don't. I prefer you only do it with the instructor. So this is not a maneuver I want you to practice on your own, okay? Not okay. yet. I just want you to be familiar and be able to do it if you lose your your engine here at a hover. Yeah. Okay? So we could do it a couple more times. That's a nice airplane. And 100%. Temperatures, pressures, clear. Go ahead and pick her up. Okay, doing it again. <laughs> Damn, why do I pop the whole... You're popping okay. it back up in the air. All right, that's it. Do what you got to do. Come back to your spot. Come back down. There you go. The rotor's coming back. Lake Norman traffic. Skyhawk 512 Sierra Papa. Excellent. Passing from FBO to run up. All right, give me a little bit of slide to the right. A little bit more, a little bit more right there. Hold that. Okay, I'm going to count down. In three, two, one. Oh, that was a little bit too much. Um, I think we got somebody coming up here. That's fine. Hey, we can collect it back oh, down a little bit. A, all right. Okay. Good. 
All right, so that so was you even, just a little bit too that much. That was too much because I didn't wrap it off rapidly. Yeah. We, uh, I was kind of slowly, not like completely off. But it's whatever you need yeah. to maintain directional control. All right. So we cocked off about 25, 30 degrees. So. All right. So and we'll do it again. I still got some finessing to do here. Yep. Whatever it takes. Yep. But the whole idea is keeping the aircraft level, trying to control that yaw as much as possible. Okay, so get your pedals back into position. Thinking of uh, the two-stage pickup, cyclic positioning, pedal positioning, throttle management, looking at our manifold pressure. Know we're going to get light here pretty soon. Feeling what the machine is telling you. There it is. Now she's getting light. Probably going to need a little bit more aft cyclic, too. There it is. Alright, keep pulling up. Yeehaw! Good, get your rotor RPM just a little bit lower. And I'll count us down once you're stabilized. A little bit lower on the rotor. There you go, rolling the throttle down just a little bit more. A little bit more, right there, you touch down. Pick it back up, hold what you got, hold what you got. And three, two, one. There it goes. So we hit the, the, uh, the heels? Yeah. That was good. That was what you're supposed to do, hit the heels? Well, this it'll it has the tendency to land on the heels first. Okay. Right heel, uh, right skid, and then left heel, left skid. Do anybody ever put mirrors, like where they can see the skids and shit? Or I mean, you just, could you could put some mirrors there if you want. I was, turn I signals, mean, maybe headlights. <laughs> yeah. uh, one of the one of the things I looked at had a horn. Yeah, which I thought was kind of funny, but yeah. The the problem is this thing the. The canopy is so low. Yeah. You know, like normally you on other helicopters you can just look behind you. You can actually stick your head out like a Bell 47 or. Yeah. You know, but this thing that's my biggest complaint is I wish they would just make this about. I think we need maybe six more inches. You yeah. know, above you a little higher. All right, go ahead and bring her back up. All right. Center your pedal. Center your collective. I'm sorry, your cyclic. Roll her back up. Fuel is almost there, but we're good. All right, how are you feeling on this? Good. Feel like you'll survive it? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. All right, so we did uh, four hover autos four times. Just wait for me here for a sec. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and pick her up. RPM, pressures, temperatures, water temp is good, oil temp, I love it. Okay. And we're clear on the right, center, and left. And then when you pick it up, just do a, a left, slow left pedal turn 180. See who's behind us. Watch your tail there. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And hold position. Okay, back to the right. 180 degrees. Tail's clear. Nose is clear on the right. Okay, good. Let's roll the throttle down just a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Add collective as you roll it down. Okay, I like that. That's good. Uh, about 102 percent. Very good. Play normal traffic. Uh, 273 kilos. Gonna be straight in runway one four. Play normal. Anybody else in the pattern? All right. 180 degree pedal turn to the right. Throttle 
as you make that turn. Taxi from run up to runway 32, we'll hold short for you. All right, 32 Kilo, good copy, thanks. We're about a two mile final now, one four. We're on the traffic, helicopter 51691, we're off to the side in the, in the grass. Uh, we're not going to be on the runway, it should be in the traffic. Good. Let's do 90 degrees to the left. And hold. Hold. Hold altitude. All right, come forward. Keep coming forward. Come forward a little higher. Right pedal, right pedal. A little bit more right. There you go. I want you to set it down. This is a uh, nose up slope. So we know we have to add a little forward cyclic as we touch down. Forward cyclic. There we go. Centering and control. Okay. We could have kept the uh, RPM at 100%. Yeah. All right. I'll let you roll it up. As I feel looking just still above the E. It's so still it's above the yeah. 26 minutes. I think we got no more than maybe 10 minutes left on her. All right. All right. Let's keep doing that. We got one on short final there. Yeah. All right. Rotor RPM, temperatures, pressures. Clear on the left, center on the right. Where to pick it up. Alright, so we're close up like this, right? Yeah, so it knows how you know, so it's not as much aft cyclic as you're normally used to. Not saying you need forward cyclic, it's just not as much aft. Okay. Maybe more center. Versus aft of center. But it's whatever it takes. Oh, you snatched it, it up. Snatched it, it up. Gotta relax. That's it. All right, just point towards uh, the northwest there and hold hover and hold position. Oh, I jerked it up again. Damn it. Yep. Wait for this guy to come off the runway. Land on my trap. Skywag at three two kilo. Clear. Only one four late north. Three two kilo. Then. All right, taxi forward. Let's go forward in the grass here. And just stay on the left side of the cart path. We'll start creeping our way back. Okay, when you're ready, you can give yourself uh, a little bit of a 90 degree turn. Let's look for traffic first before we cross the runway. Yeah, and then you can make it back there. Somebody's waiting to go. Let's take a look. See where yeah. they're at. Yeah. Okay, so just keep parallel down here. All right. Plane number traffic, helicopter 51691. Cessna, if you want to take off, we're not going to, uh, we'll, we'll stay here. For that, we need just a second. Taking off in just a minute. All right, thank you. We got some rising sloping terrain. Yep. Lake Norman traffic, Skyhawk, 512 Sierra Papa departing runway 32, staying in the pattern. Lake Norman. There you go. You're going to be cut across the gap. It's like the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Just keep your tail up. Maintain this height, you don't want to dip in below there because you can touch your tail on that rising terrain behind you now. That's it, maintain this altitude, don't come back down, just maintain the altitude. There you go. Just remember, try to keep your uh, skids parallel to your direction of travel. That's it. And the reason we do that is if we lose an engine, we won't roll over on the right. Yeah. Oh, that's not the one that flies yet. That one's not finished. Okay. There's a gray one around here somewhere that... All right, when you're ready, you can take the runway and taxi down. All right. Lake Norman traffic, helicopter 5169. Uh, we're crossing runway 32. Lake Norman traffic. Good, I'm glad you maintained your altitude. That was good. So let's go ahead and get on the other side and hover taxi down. There you go. All right, relax. That's nice, it. Slow inputs. You're going to get in the shade and you're going to feel like 50 degrees cooler. Nice, slow inputs.
here on all his cut grass for him. Yeah, nothing like fresh cut grass. Yeah. RPMs need to come down a little bit. Yeah, just a, a smidge. Just reduce it just a smidge. <laughs> Are right, you going to land up here? Or down Are, you, there? Are you comfortable getting it in there or do you want me to do it? Um, I'll do it. Okay. Not so sure about that golf cart there. Yeah, but. so. Uh, yeah, hug further to the left side of this, uh, this nice cut. I'm with you. Actually, no, the, the uh, let's not. No? Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, the thing's open. Okay, so we'll set it down here. Alright. Good, there you go. Good, good job. Very good. Touch down and you're sliding forward just a little bit, but not a bad day. Yeah. Not a bad technique. Alright. Okay, man, so that was... 31 minutes or change. Alright. And we're on E. Come on. We're on E and 77 degrees. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to... I don't want to blow papers all over the damn place down there. That would probably piss the, uh... <laughs> the guys off. <laughs> piss yeah. the guys off. So we can roll it in and, uh...